going on. Hey everybody, <laughs> welcome to Wednesday Night Live with the Andersons. Gray's here. That's where all the wisdom's gonna come from tonight. Oh yeah. Is, is Gray Isaac. Um, listen, I, we hope that you're all having a great week and, and as as things are are opening up and you know we're in phase two right now and and uh cruising along to phase three um we just we just hope that 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 you guys are are getting back to business that everything's flowing smoothly um i don't know about you guys but the last couple of sundays i think have been yeah. incredible yeah, yeah. um we're we're so excited for for what god's gonna do um, man, just the, the worship and, and the messages have just been absolutely amazing. Yes, yes. Um, and we're just, we just can't wait for, for what's yes. coming. Yes. And so something we really uh, had on our hearts was just right now in this season, there's such a, um, expectancy, uh, like we just know and we feel in the air, it's almost like the, maybe the calm before the storm, but in like a good way, not so much like yeah. we're about to go through a storm and everyone's going to get hurt, you know, not like that, but we just feel like the expectancy in the air, almost like the stillness in the air, like it's about to happen. Um, it was really awesome because, uh, the worship team, we've really been, um, on practice nights, we've been praying and, uh, and actually like ministering to each other. And it's been so good the last few weeks. And something that some of them were saying last night is you just feel like it's about to boil over. Like it's just like building, it's yeah. building, and it's about to boil over. Like the Lord is going to do so much. So we really wanted to talk to everybody. Everybody? Everybody. <laughs> to everybody welcome tonight. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> everybody, welcome. Um, about expectancy yeah. and expecting God to move in a huge, huge way. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, whenever we open up services on Sunday morning, you know, like I always like to ask the question, um, who came expecting this morning? Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. Um, from from everything that you can read in this in this book um, that we all like to follow, uh, when people are expectant, um, God comes and does what only He can do, and and He comes and moves in such a mighty way that nobody ever remains the same. Mm -hmm. And so tonight, I, I just wanted to start out and just do you know a couple of scriptures and, and just a couple of. Um, you know, things back and forth that's stirring, you know, with Jordan and I about expectancy and just kind of show you <clears throat> what the Bible says, just a few instances of what happens when when people are expecting. Yeah. Um, the first thing um, that I wanted to bring up comes from Luke chapter three, and, and it's, in, it's in verse um, 15, and it says, during those days, everyone was gripped with messianic expectations, believing the Messiah would come at any moment. And then it says that they began to wonder if John, meaning John the Baptist, was the Christ that they were looking for. But I think the important thing to understand in Luke chapter 3 is Luke is painting a picture to us that Jesus came in the time when the people were expecting yeah, yeah. He, he, it says it right here in the word that people were expecting the Christ to come. And, and that's exactly when God chose to send his son into the earth is, is when um, people were expecting. Yes, yes. Um, it, it's, it's, such a, it's such a powerful thing. The scripture tells us over and over again how, how, um, like how God moves when people are coming together in expectation and and here's here's the thing that the the main illustration for for what um expectancy looks like because you know a lot of times we, we think okay well i gotta come expecting and our mind automatically tries to picture something yeah. that that we think god should do or or what you know something that that god um you know, will do like, and we're sitting there going, oh man, this miracle would be cool. This would be cool. You know, man, I, I could really, you know, I come expecting God to meet all my needs, right? According to his riches and glory. That's what the Bible says. But most of the time, I don't know about you, but speaking for, for me personally, when, when I've needed and come to God with expectation, I had an image in my mind of what that expectation looks like. And God always did something that was way beyond that. Yeah. You know, like the Bible says that he, he will come and do far and abundantly more than we can think or imagine. And, and so uh, 
the, this, this illustration that I wanna talk about comes from Acts chapter three. And, and we, we've all heard this story, but the, the thing that's important to remember is, is the word expectation. And so um, <clears throat> it starts in verse four. And uh, I think it does. Wait, hold on. Sorry. Uh, okay, so so Peter and John are walking up uh, to the to the gate called Beautiful, right? And Peter and John, looking straight into the eyes of the crippled man, said, "Look at us, expecting a gift." Now, now listen to that for a second. He looked up at them, expecting a gift, because he was sitting at the gate begging for anybody to give. They would drop coins in there. They would do whatever. But, but he was expecting something. And, and, when, and Peter and John were, were no different. He was expecting, I imagine, <clears throat> what would be coins from them, just like any other passerby. He was, he was expecting that. But he, they said, look at us. And he then turns and looks at them, expecting a gift. He readily gave them his attention. Because when we're expecting something, we give whatever we're expecting the gift from our full attention. And so then Peter said, I don't have money, but I'll give you this. By the power of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stand up and walk. We, we, know, we know how that story ends. We, we know that the guy stood up immediately, went, you know, jumping around and people were, were looking all over the place going, hey, what, isn't that the guy that begs outside of the gate all the time? But the important thing to remember is he was expecting. Now, his image of expectation was, you know, maybe smaller. in silver and gold and it was yeah. smaller, yeah. Um, but his heart was torn was turned toward attention or an expectation because what we're expecting what we're anticipating will always get our attention and i even love that like you know we've been hearing about this new season like expect yeah. god to move but don't don't put him in a box don't be like oh man i just expect god to do what he what he did back in 1990 you know he really did a bit well he's doing a new thing you yeah, know, we can't yeah. put the new wine in old wine skins. And even that man, like the, the biggest that he could expect at that moment was a gift, right? So gold yeah. or silver, which would have yeah. been great. But God wanted, you know, God wanted so much more for him. Yeah, and absolutely. I think that that's something right now. So, so if you're expecting a certain thing, don't put God in a box and spe just expect something even like a hundred times bigger, a hundred times better, because that's what he has planned. Uh, that scripture, he, uh, what he has planned is exceedingly abundantly more than anything we could hope or imagine for us right now. Like that scripture's come to me almost every single day in the last week. Mm -hmm. And I love that scripture, right? But whenever the Lord keeps bringing something to you again and again and again, he wants to get it through your head. Yeah. So he wants yeah. to get it through my head that he's going to do it exceedingly, abundantly, bigger and more than anything I could even imagine. So yeah. go ahead, try and imagine, but let's not put him in a box in this season. Let's just sit back and see what he does and just, just speak like, oh, God's going to move. If that's all you can say, God's going to move. I can guarantee you God's going to move. Yeah. Um, it, but it's just so, it, it's in the air. It's in the air. And, and even if you don't feel it, don't feel out of the circle, but just pray, Lord, open my eyes. Give, give me the spiritual eyes to see and let me, let me hear you. Let me, let me feel in my heart what you have in store, you know, and, and all these things. So that it's like, um, it's like coming in waves What we were talking about, yeah. the waves of mm -hmm. revival. I feel like we see it in the distance. It hasn't hit yet. But we're waiting, like what Eve, you were even talking about before Pentecost. It, it's yeah. it's it's waiting, but then like bam, here comes the wave, right? And then here comes the other wave. So we have to not know exactly what's in the wave, except to know that God's going to move in such a huge way. And even that man, like he expected something, but it was so much more than what he did expect. And that's what the beautiful thing is about it. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I, I think um, I think it's easy to build expectation right now um, because. I don't know if you guys uh, pay attention to to uh, anything that's that's upcoming, like as far as dates or not. But not this Sunday, but the very next Sunday yeah. is is Pentecost Sunday, and 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 you know we're gonna have a worship night there at the church at Mino. I don't. Does anybody? You might not know about that yet. That's okay. We're gonna <laughs> announce it on Sunday. Woo! Hey, but but what I'm saying is it, it, when you when you come when you come with expectation, you're just you're just coming and and saying, Lord, you have 
my full attention. Yes. Um, like, like I love the story of King David, you know, and how it talked about while he was just a shepherd, you know, um, he took out the lion and he took out the bear, you know, with, with his slingshot, you know, and, and, um, so when he stepped up and he saw Goliath, you know, mocking the Israelites, mm -hmm. he came with an expectation that, Lord, just as you've allowed me to be accurate the other two times, I'm I'm in expectation that you're going to help me take this dude down. And and that that expectation that he had from the Lord in that moment helped him become, you know, one of the greatest um people in in the history of Israel. Um but I I think it's it, it's important to to understand that we when we come expecting we're we're expecting something that that's to come it, it's not it's it's in the future it's future tense like we're expecting god to move like we stay in a constant outlook of like what lord what are you about to do next because the important thing to remember is like the the enemy always wants you to keep your mind on the past or, or to keep your mind on, like in, in certain circumstances right now, like maybe, you know, your finances aren't coming in as it once was and, and, and all these different things. And like Gray's like <laughs> wrestling me like back here behind my back. Like I'm trying to figure out. But, but the enemy wants you to keep, to keep you locked on either the giant that you're facing right now or the mistakes that you've made in the past because he can't, he can't touch the future. Like, right, we, we all read to the end of this book and we know that we win in the end. Yeah, so he can't yeah. really, he can't hurt your future. But if he keeps you locked on the past and like maybe even the obstacles that you're facing right now, then he can keep you from being in that place of expectation and looking forward to what God's going to do. Looking forward to coming together with your brothers and sisters in Christ and saying, man, God's going to show up today. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know how you guys come on a Sunday morning, but I come uh, with an expectation that the Holy Spirit is just going to flood and fill the place. And that's my prayer for every Sunday morning, where two or more are gathered. He's there, so we like we already know He's there. So yeah. then we just need Him to move. We come with that with that expectation that He can do far greater than anything that we could, you know, even begin to. Um, to, to try to do, but I, I want to say this one, one more time, and, and, and this is why this is why we come with expectation. Romans chapter eight, verse seventeen, and since we are His true children, we qualify to share in all His treasures. Mm -hmm. For indeed, we, meaning you, meaning us, mm -hmm. we are heirs of God Himself, and since we are joined to Christ. We are also, we also inherit all that he is and all that he has. Wow. I don't, I don't know how often you guys dive into this book right here. It's pretty cool though. It's, it's, it's it is. It's, I'm sorry. I'm getting really close to the camera because I'm excited. Like I'm pumped <laughs> up, but we, we, we inherit all that he is. And all that he has. If you read any of the stories in this book about Jesus, they are amazing. They are full of miracles. They are full of being at the right place at the right time. They are full of they're they are full of just amazing outlooks for you and I as as the body of believers. And we inherit all of that. And Jesus said it himself that not only will we do the things that he did, but he said you will do far yeah. more. Yeah. That is why, friends, church family, tonight we are challenging you to switch your focus. Don't just, don't just think about, oh, yeah, you know, hey, it's going to be cool to see everybody at church yeah. on Sunday. No, it's, it's, far, it's far more than that. We are coming together as the body with our armor on. We're putting on the full armor of God and we're coming together and we're coming to worship the King and we are coming with expectations that he is still the God of miracles. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe we're doing good right now. You know, hey, 
Praise God for that. You know, maybe we're doing good, but I guarantee you that each and every one of you watching this video today, you know somebody who's not doing that good. You know somebody that's seeking a miracle, somebody that's needing a miracle. And when you come to worship, you come with the expectation that God is gonna show up. And when God shows up, heaven opens up and signs, wonders, and miracles follow those who believe. I don't know what you're even going through tonight, but I'm telling you, church, if each and every one of us will begin to shift that focus yeah, yeah. and we'll shift our focus to, I can't wait until Sunday morning comes around because I get to gather with hundreds of other believers and worship the one and only, the creator of the heavens and earth because it's all about him. Everything we do, we live and breathe. It all is made to bring glory to the Father. And if you can shift that, if you can just shift that and, and see it for what it truly is, that's why it says come and worship, you know, you worship with singing, dancing, everything like that is because we know it's all for his glory. And without him, we are nothing. Every good and perfect gift comes from him. But listen, do you have anything you want to share? No, that was good. Well, yeah, we got to end it with that. Listen, we don't want to hold you all night. But church, we, we love you. And we just want to issue that challenge tonight. Come, come Sunday morning with expectation and just begin praying right now, Wednesday night, and pray every day. God, we are coming to meet with you. We are coming to worship you Sunday morning. It doesn't even have to to be in like in the building at Faith Center. You can, anywhere where there's two or more believers gathered, he says he's there. So we just we just keep praying. Gray's hyped up he's too. He's like grabbing my shirt. Everyone. Okay. But Gray's expecting. He I mean, is. Gray gets hyped during praise and worship. Y'all should look at yeah. him sometime. But <laughs> when we come with expectation, God shows up because our expectation is not about us. It's not about our needs. It's, it's about him. Mm -hmm. And it's about, Lord, reveal your glory to us. I don't know what you're going through tonight or even what giants might try to poke their head out at you for the rest of the week. But I know that when you come to God with expectation, it just like the song we sing all the time, he's never failed me. Yeah. He's never failed me yet, and he's not going to. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. But church family, we want to we wanna pray for you tonight. We can't wait to worship with you Sunday morning. It's going to be amazing. Um, but Heavenly Father, I just thank you for each and every person that tunes in to this video. Lord, I, I just pray that you shift our hearts, you shift our minds into the thinking of where we can't wait to get to church because we can't wait to see what you're going to do. We can't, we can't wait to see what you're going to do in our lives, in our hearts, in our, in our thought processes. Lord, we humble ourselves before you. Lord, we thank you for what you're doing in the midst of our nation, in the midst of this world, in the midst of all the COVID-19. Lord, we just thank you that things are opening up, that phase three is coming. Lord, that you're doing what only you can do. You're bringing truth to the surface and you are ironing out all the wrinkles. Lord, because you are still on the throne. We declare it today. You'll be on the throne tomorrow and you'll always be on the throne because we know in the end of it, in the playbook that we have, Lord, that you win in the end and you always win. And Lord, that we are heirs to that victory. So Lord, I thank you for each and every home that's watching this tape, this recording right now. Lord, bless them, multiply them. Uh, Lord, just, just come into their life and do what only you can do. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for everything that you're gonna do. We thank you for the testimonies that are gonna come out of this word, expectation. So Lord, we love you and we give you all glory, all praise and all honor tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Church family, we love you. And uh, we can't wait to see you Sunday morning. Come expecting. <laughs>